Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and this is our Quilting Blocks and Patterns channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous ribbon star block. Now I've got four of them here. It's really easy to make. You'll be whipping these up in no time at all. So let's get on and show you how to make it. So what you're going to need to make this block are four pieces of fabric at three and a half inches square. You'll need six pieces of fabric at four inches square and then you'll need another six pieces of fabric at four inches square in a contrasting colour. Now we're going to just put the three and a half inch squares away. They are our corner pieces and we don't need them at the moment. So now we're going to make our half square triangles. So we take one piece, we place them right sides together one on top of the other and we're going to draw a line diagonally across the piece of fabric okay from corner to corner and then we're going to sew a seam a quarter of an inch on either side of that drawn line and I have one here to show you so you can see here that I've, I've sewn a quarter of an inch on either side of that line so now what we need to do is we're going to cut that so we cut along the line that we've drawn Now that gives us two pieces which are our half square triangles and when we open them you can see there how nicely they look. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press these seams open on both of those so all our half square triangles will have the seams pressed open and once we've pressed them we're going to trim them. So I'll go and do that now. So as you can see I've pressed the seams open on both of these blocks and you'll do that to all your blocks. So now it's time to trim them. Now we're going to trim them to a three and a half inches. Now I'm going to use my square to do this so I'll go through it quickly. But if you uh, need more detail on how to trim a half square triangle or you don't have one of these rulers by all means check out our tutorial on how to square up a half square triangle. I'll put a link in the description below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a 45 degree angle along the seam line and I'm going to leave a little bit of a uh, an overhang of the material on past the three and a half inch line and then I'll just simply now I always go in a little bit and come back it makes it easier to do those corners and stop some dragging when you when you go to cut them cut some cleanly so then I simply tip the turn this around now this time I'm going to line the three and a half inch uh, line here up right against the edge and the same on the bottom Okay, so those, the bottom and the side have the uh, three and a half inch line. And again, I'm just going to trim this piece off. Again, coming back first. There we go. Okay, so that's all nicely trimmed. So you'll do that with all of your blocks. So I've trimmed up all of my half square triangles and you should end up with 12. So now we're going to lay the pattern out on the table and this is how it looks. And uh, we will have a picture of this also on the website. So the next thing to do is to sew all our squares together. So I'll take the first square and lay it over the next one, right sides together, and sew with a quarter inch seam. And what I'll end up with is something that looks like this. Then I'll do the same with this end again. And I always pin them together, you don't have to, it's entirely up to you. Sew those together, and we end up with that piece. And I'll do that with all of those rows, sewing them in, row, in blocks of two to start with. And then I'll come back and I'll sew these two lots together and I'll end up with a row like this. And again I'll do the same all the way down. And then it'll be time to sew the rows together. So I've sewn my squares into rows and I'll just show you here how I've ironed them. So they're all pressed nice and neat and open. There does There is a lot of bulk in this one, so that's why I've pressed them open. So they'll all fit together nicely. So now what we need to do is join those rows. So what I do is I'll sew these two together, and then I'll sew those two together, and then the one in the middle. So take your first top row and lay it over the second row. Now I like to go ahead and pin, joining up all of those seams there so that they're nice and neat because you want everything to to meet and look nice and crisp i also stick a couple of pins in here if you don't want a pin that's entirely up to you but i like to pin that way i don't have to keep unpicking if things go wrong so that's what i'll do now i'll, I'll sew all those together and what you'll end up with is your block there it is all completely finished and this is really lovely and uh, we've got the two on the wall here i'll probably do another two and maybe make a mini quilt 
But uh, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget that we'll have all the written instructions over on the website. Thank you for watching.